What's up, everybody? Prepare to travel beyond Azeroth, beyond Warcraft, and into Heroes of Starcraft. The Zerg, Terran, and Protoss factions are represented on cards via a faction banner. Not only do the cards in each faction work well with one another, they're also usable across multiple classes. Each of the factions also has a hero card featuring one of the most iconic faces from StarCraft. The Zerg are led by the Queen of Blades herself, Sarah Kerrigan. She gives Death Knights, Hunters, Warlocks, and Demon Hunters access to an aggro playstyle with near endless swarms of Zerg cards. After all, what would a StarCraft mini set even be without its own version of a Zerg rush? For the Protoss, we have the legendary Artanis seeking to unify his people. He grants his powers to druids, mages, priests, and rogues. He focuses on powerful, high mana cost units and uses the psionic powers of the Protoss to make those cards cheaper. And finally, who else could we have to lead the Terran besides the iconic Jim Raynor? Thanks to him, Warriors, Paladins, and Shamans will get a hold of the new Starship keyword from the main set. But these aren't your average Starships. They're Battlecruisers. We've made sure to represent as many units from StarCraft as possible. There's even one character from Warcraft that snuck their way into the set. Grunty, the Terran Armored Murloc. On top of everything else, Heroes of StarCraft has more cards than any mini set we've done before. There's so much to explore here. So many strategies, so many interactions, and so much StarCraft nostalgia. And we might have some special music as well, just for the occasion. Heroes of StarCraft is coming in January 2025.